I'm going to need y'all white parents of biracial kids to listen in real quick. I'm going to give you fair warning. This might be an uncomfortable conversation, but it's necessary. A lot of y'all's kids have complexes and identity issues, and it's not because they have a white parent. It's because a lot of y'all chose to have biracial kids before you unpacked your internalized racism and anti-blackness. It's because a lot of y'all have biracial children without learning enough about the black experience to guide your child through a black experience. To guide them through a world that is inherently anti-black. Cutting off your racist family members is not all it takes to raise a biracial kid. In fact, that doesn't even come close to the bare minimum. You can have the best intentions for your children while still causing them collective harm. And you know, I first noticed this when my daughter was an infant and I started joining Facebook groups for parents of biracial kids. These white moms would have the best intentions, yet end up on Facebook crying about how their child was saying they didn't want to be black and they hated being black. And because these parents did not take the time to educate themselves whatsoever on systemic racism and anti-blackness on a level that they would be able to appropriately raise a biracial child, they were on the internet crying for help instead of helping their kid. In this video, children of biracial parents share their experiences, things their parents taught them about racism and colorism. Most of these children account racism and colorism to having white parents but why does this happen so we'll find out more in this video but before we watch the video if you haven't yet liked the video kindly like the video and also subscribe to the channel let's watch the videos together you cannot shield your child from experiencing anti-blackness in the world but you can equip them to deal with it I get told pretty frequently that my daughter will be mistaken for a black mom biracial. Now, I'm going to explain to you why. First and foremost, she is not raised in an anti-black environment. A lot of black men, white women relationships are inherently anti-black due to the fact that the relationship is based on fetishization and the hatred of black women instead of mutual love. The way that I look at it, the world is constantly going to be hurling anti-blackness at my child. And instead of acting like it does not exist... I have been equipping my child since birth to be able to handle said anti-blackness through radical self-love and positive identity. My child has at a young age told me that she wanted to be white to match her family. Right then and there, we had a very long conversation about anti-blackness and racism at four years old and how her blackness was the most beautiful part of her. She made a comment one time about her baby doll, her black baby with coily hair being ugly. Again, we had a long discussion about colorism, texturism, and racism. After that day, that baby did not leave her hip. You cannot just be not teaching your kid to be anti-black. You have to be preparing them for an anti-black world. You have to ensure that you are not feeding your child a complex towards other black people. That you're showing them how to cherish and uplift their community. See, biracial kids with white parents can be raised to be pro-black, but many aren't. And that is because their environment and their role models are not pro-black. If you don't want your child to have identity issues, it starts with you. It is wholeheartedly possible for you to educate yourself. A lot of y'all simply choose not to. Do better. Us biracial kids with the white moms are the most problematic. No, but can we talk about how us biracial folks, that's me, with white moms can be the most problematic because a lot of times our white mothers will expect us to take on identities that reflect their own because the sacrifice of motherhood is so severe that they kind of want their biracial black presenting children to reflect their white experience. And I think a lot of folks like me, frankly, are just unwilling to challenge their mothers and say like, I love you, but you are wrong. I love you, but my experience is different. And I love you, but I refuse to carry beliefs that are going to be violent towards other members of the black community because I love my blackness too much to hold those beliefs, right? And that will cause like a rift with some family members and has for me, but I would never take it back because I don't want to be one of those people who holds us back. I don't know what mixed baby needs to hear this, but it's okay if you drop your white mom. It is. There are so many white mothers who sit here and they have mixed babies and then they literally destroy us. My mom, ever since I was little, has been calling black women disgusting and loud 
and dirty and arrogant and ghetto and for some reason she fails to realize that I am the same woman she is talking about she fails to realize that there's no difference between us the only difference is the slightly lighter complexion that's it y'all sit here as white women and you have black and brown and asian children and then you literally talk about us like we can't hear you you talk about how we're disgusting and how we leech off the government and how we're not even from America and how we don't even need to have protests for things because everyone's created equal in the first place but then you date white supremacists and bring them into our own fucking houses and you expect us to be comfortable you expect us to be comfortable with your husbands that wear Trump hats you expect us to be happy and accepting that you want to go out for shots of tequila and make fun of every man in the room and say I bet his name is Juan I don't find that funny I don't find the joke in that to make fun of everybody's fucking race except your kid because you, for some reason, have the capacity to think that they're different. To think that they are you when they have never been a part of you in the fucking first place. I don't get it. I don't get how y'all can pretend that your kids don't hear you. And then be absolutely baffled when they finally do. And they finally don't want to be around you. So for the kids that have grown up in environments in the exact same that I have, I don't care if you're afraid of not having parents. I'm afraid of having a parent that can't even see who I am when I'm looking them right in the face. And the fact that I don't even have a parent that knows who I am, it's pretty much like having none anyways. Welcome back. So let me give you the meaning of what biracial means, if you do not know. Now the word biracial means children or persons having parents who are of different races. This term is often used to describe individuals who have heritage from multiple racial backgrounds. So for instance, a black man marrying a white woman to give birth, in this case, we say that the kids are biracial because the two parents are of different races. In this video, some black children who happen to have white parents often hear their parents call them disgusting and all other sorts of names. And this looks a bit ridiculous to me in the sense that why would you insult your own child because he or she is biracial and you have some internalized racism against the parents of the child so why should you even give birth with the parents if you do not like the race of the parents now most biracial children made it clear in the video that having a white mom is different from having a black mom both physically and even mentally and they go on to explain some of the things that their black parents would do for them whilst the white parent will never do that for them now she stated that if she had a black mom her mom would be able to know how to take care of her hair rather than having a white man. One also says that if she had black mom, she knew that if people call her the N word in school, her parents would resist that and she would not allow things like that to happen. So clearly they stated that there are differences between having a white mom and a black mom. Well, as an African, I have never thought that biracial people had to face such problems when we take into consideration kids
from white moms being compared to biracial kids from black moms. Now, most biracial kids of white moms wish that their moms were black rather than they being white because of some of the treatments that black moms give to their biracial kids. So before even giving birth to biracial kids, as couples, you need to learn from the background of each partner. So let's say we have a husband who is a black man and a wife who is a white woman. Now, before you even marry and procreate and give birth, you should know things about each other's race. So that when you are raising your kids, you would know how to raise your kids. So let's say, for instance, being a black husband married to a white mom, you need to know the cultural background of the white people, things they like, things they do not like, and the other way around also for the white mom. You should also know things about the black husband, things that they like, their culture, how they do their things in order for you to be able to live happily as couple so that your kids will not be affected in any way or in any form. So you need to learn about this even before you begin to give birth. Now let me know what you think about this in the comment section below about how um, parents or moms of biracial kids treat them. That is, white parents treat their biracial children and how black moms also treat their biracial children. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Just click the subscribe button down there. Click on the subscribe button. Click as well on the notification bell. And I'd like to see you again in my next video.